Hello everyone. We have an Amber Alert that has been put out and I want to bring you some of the details on it. This is the young boy that the alert is for. Um, some of the information is a little bit confusing or unclear or they kind of go back and forth on it, right? So I'm just going to put it all out there. That way it's all out there, right? That's what I'm going to go with. So this was the first picture that I believe originally was put out. And then they put out one that was of his face and you could see him better, but. Right, so those are some photos of him. And let me bring you over to, uh, what do we have on this one? I don't even know. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna bring you over to this site really quick and play this video for you now involved in this search this is the is now hmm. it keeps skipping that part it's the fbi is now involved in the search is what it's Skipping. And throughout this, I've been talking to my sources in the last 25 minutes or so. I've also been able to confirm that the FBI is now involved in this search. This is the area, this sort of marshy, a wooded area that family members and friends have been focused on for the better part of the last couple of hours, not too far uh, from where Bentley went missing. But right now it is cold, it is damp, and still no sign of Bentley Stancil. And there you hear family members screaming his name in this wooded area. We also saw, saw folks out here with dogs and flashlights, also deputies in the same vicinity looking with the flashlights on their cars. According to the sheriff's office, Bentley left his home this morning on Outrigger Drive. This is video from that scene tonight. He went to his bus stop, but didn't get on the bus and was last seen running in the wooded area across the street from Quester Lane. Somehow he made it to the area where we're standing in now, uh, now uh, not too far from the Hardys off Wendell Boulevard. It is two miles though from his home. Then all those hours later, our phone started buzzing with an Amber Alert. We spoke tonight with his father, obviously trying to figure out what happened. And the uh, father tonight telling me there's a lot of questions. Uh, the important though, the thing now is uh, trying to figure out where his son is. Bentley lives with his aunt right now, but obviously his father and mother out here searching at this hour, wondering exactly what happened. This is another picture of Bentley that we wanna show you at this hour. He was last seen wearing a black hooded jacket. Uh, jeans as well as black sneakers, and you focus on the red glasses there. If you've seen Bentley Stancil, you are urged to call the Wake County Sheriff's Office right away. Of course, we'll keep you posted throughout the night. Morning, Steve. Back to you. Okay. I will take us off this. And. All right. All right. So another photo of him. And it says that it's about two miles from his home, right, where he ended up. But it says around 10 a.m. he was seen running into the wooded area across the street from Questar, Questar Lane near the Hardee's on Wendell Boulevard, Sheriff Office said. And then more than 12 hours later, in the cold, dark night, the search for him continued. And... Late Tuesday evening, deputies were searching in a marshy area off of Wendell Boulevard. Family members were also out there calling the boy's name. People, I'm assuming with dogs and flashlights joined the search. Deputies combed the area with flashlights on their patrol cars. And um, I would like a lot of people to be out here looking, said Brandon. Um, that's his father. I know that they can't just take their resources just for that, but at the same time, something has got to give. Hmm. And then um, it says in here, in a couple of places, you guys, I'm seeing this is one of the things that's different, right? He has dirty blonde hair. 
that is close and buzz haircut and others are saying that he has brown hair so i guess go off of the pictures and whatever you see um but he has brown eyes and then the red framed glasses he was last seen wearing the long sleeve black hoodie black school backpack blue jeans black and white sneakers and so i'm going to show you some of these right but i'm going to bring you over so let me grab you again and bring you over here okay this is um, by josh he said this is a sheriff deputy searching a brush pipe area off of Wendell Boulevard. It's the last place that nine-year-old Bentley was seen nearly 12 hours ago. And this is... Okay, and then family members are out in the marshy area looking hear one scream out Bentley. Oh. That's sad. And then it said, this is the photo of Bentley, four foot seven, about 80 pounds, left his house in the morning on Outridge Drive and walked to the bus stop. He didn't get on the bus, was seen running into a wooded area. And the thing is though, um, there's more that's been added to it or something, right? So let me show you, let me show you this. This is by National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. And they have, that he has brown hair, but something from law enforcement says he had blonde hair, um, hazel eyes. Again, the last one said he had brown eyes. Um, and four foot seven, we've got that the same. 75 pounds, hmm. five pound difference. Um, and wearing the same outfit. Now, they updated this and they said that the photo has been added and that it's a, this is a North Carolina Amber Alert for a child abduction. And then it says that the Wake County Sheriff Office is searching for Bentley, Gunner Stancil. Bentley is nine year old, white male, approximately four seven, weighing 75 pounds, has brown hair, hazel eyes. He was last seen wearing a long sleeve black hoodie, black school backpack, blue jeans, black and white sneakers. The abductor is unknown. Bentley was last seen traveling east on Wendell Boulevard on foot from the Hardy's restaurant in Wendell. If you have any information regarding his abduction, call the Wake County Sheriff Office immediately at 919-796-3317 or 911 or Star HP. Now, I'm assuming that maybe they had last seen him run into the woods but then they continue, I don't know, to look at footage maybe. And by looking at footage of other cameras, businesses in the area, it led them to ultimately maybe see somebody go after him, right? Um, yeah. So then I'm going to bring you over to this as well. Um, ba, ba, ba. so, but yeah, that's it. It's pretty much, um, covered kind of what we think has happened though. We think that it started, I think we started him running into the woods and then it, and then it turned into being abducted, right? Is kind of what we think we're putting together. I'm Mark Boyle in the WRL Live Center. Right now, the Wake County Sheriff's Department in downtown Wendell searching for nine-year-old Bentley Stansel. So here's Raleigh. Look off to the east. This is the search area in downtown Wendell. On your screen, these are brand new photographs of the nine-year-old released to us here within the past 20 minutes. Speaking with the Sheriff's I'm Department. I'm Mark Boyle in the WRL Live Center. Uh, right now, the Wake County Sheriff's Department.
It's like playing sound, but not the video. It was so weird what was going on just then. So you want to start a company in the triangle? That was Designed so weird. Designed for new and emerging entrepreneurs and newcomers to the startup community, WRAL TechWire's Triangle Startup Guide is full of resources to fuel your success. Get started today at startupguide.wraltechwire.com. I'm Mark Boyle in the WRAL Live Center right now. Oh no, I lost it when I expanded it. That was terrible. I'm Mark Boyle in the WREL Live Center. Right now, the Wake County Sheriff's Department in downtown Wendell searching for nine-year-old Bentley Stansel. So here's Raleigh. Look off to the east. This is the search area in downtown. This is weird. I just played this video before. Um, I don't know what's going on. I don't really know. So you want to start a company in the triangle? Designed for I won't expand it. Um, that way it won't screw it up. Apparently, I just screwed it up on my own somehow. How did that jump down there? Sorry, I don't know what's happening right now. This is weird. I'm Mark Boyle in the WREL Live Center. Right now, the Wake County Sheriff. What is going on? I'm about to give up in about a second here. So you want to start a company in the triangle designed for new and emerging entrepreneurs and newcomers to the startup community. WRAL TechWire's Triangle Startup Guide is full of resources to fuel your success. Get started today at... I'm Mark Boyle in the WREL Live Center. Right now, the Wake County Sheriff's Department in downtown Wendell searching for nine-year-old Bentley Stansel. So here's Raleigh. Look off to the east. This is the search area in downtown Wendell. On your screen, these are brand new photographs of the nine-year-old released to us here within the past 20 minutes. Speaking with the Sheriff's Department, he was... Uh, supposed to get on his bus. He left his house this morning on Outrigger Drive, walked to the bus stop located on Quester Lane and Outrigger Drive. He did not get on that bus. He was seen in a wooded area, running into the wooded area off of Quester Lane. And then around 10 o'clock this morning, last spotted near the Hardys on Wendell Boulevard. This map right here shows you uh, downtown Wendell. This red dot is Outrigger and Quester Lane. So this is where uh, that boy lives, perhaps. And that's the area he was last seen. So you can see the distance. Uh, we have a crew on the way to downtown Wendell right now because the Sheriff's Department confirms they are there and they are acting searching for that nine-year-old Bentley Stancil, last seen wearing a black hooded jacket, blue jeans, and black sneakers. Uh, he does have red frames for his glasses, um, so that is something to keep an eye out on this evening. If you live in the Wendell area, specifically the downtown area, because that is something uh, they are going to be searching for. It is cold, it is wet, it is uncomfortable. So any idea on where he may be, or if you thought you may have seen him, you are asked to call 911 right away. New details as we get it here as this story breaks. Yeah, so, um, but that's basically what we're coming up with. I'm not, I'm not for sure exactly on it, but that's the best that we can come up with so far, putting the pieces together. So I wanted to make sure that I let you guys know, North Carolina, um, and he's only nine years old. It's cold. I mean, you could tell that it's cold. You could see the breath of the people that were outside, that it's definitely cold. So um, we got to get him in, right? Well, I don't know whether it's abduction or it's the temperatures. Um, it states that he could very easily, um, where is this right here? Right here, it says that the Wake County Sheriff Office is looking for a nine-year-old boy and the Amber Alert was issued just after, or just before 9 p.m. Tuesday. Hours after police initially announced their search, Tuesday's rain and cold temperatures could lead to hypothermia, making the effort to find him even more urgent. And then it goes on to explain mm, the rest of the information. And this is the one that says that he has um, the dirty blonde hair. So, um, but I'm gonna show you his picture once more and let you take a look at him. It's really concerning though. It really makes me nervous. But there he is. So if you know anything, contact law enforcement, contact the number that was provided. It's 919-856-6911 or 911. And I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Have a good one, you guys.